If you think of a football team, conductor is at once a coach and a player. You have to listen all the time to what is being played, what is being sung. But it's not enough. You have to hear what you're listening to. The same way when we talk. If you listen to someone, it's not enough. You have to hear what the person is saying. And so this is, this, this is part of what a conductor does. It's an extraordinary process of first uh, sharing your vision of the piece with the colleagues that you make music with. They may be singers or they may be instrumentalists. And then discovering what visions they have of the work, if they have had experience uh, with it. And then through the process of rehearsals, all these multiple visions somewhere have to become one, uh, which is shared by everyone. It doesn't mean everyone will always agree with it, but it has to be so compelling that everyone wants to go in this direction together. Uh, and then that is the rehearsal process. Then comes the performance. And at that point, conductor becomes a player. I study them. I see what they, what they need because it is for me to try and help them to be able to express themselves. I also see what they feel, where they're challenged, where there are potentially dangerous spots for them so I can help getting through them those spots. And in the psychological terms, in a way I have to be, uh, I have to become them at the moment when they are involved in the performance. Everything in interpretation has to be connected. It has to be related and it has to be integrated. For it to happen, there has to be a sort of a presence of certain detachment which allows one to make sure that the pieces that are assembled, that they do connect. It's sort of like a big mosaic. You cannot only do it with feeling. So it is a harmony in a way between intellect and the sentiment. Both are equally important. If it's only intellect, it is cerebral and it will touch no one. If it is only heart uh, and a sentiment, uh, that means that you're the only one that, that, that will be touched. No one else will understand what's going on because it will be a total mess. So it is trying to find that harmony, again, part of the training. That's what we try to do all our life. And once in a while, when we get there, then we're able to share with the audience something extraordinary. Conductors are musicians. It's not musicians and conductors. Conductor, by definition, is a musician who happens to conduct, as is violinist who happens to play violin, as is a pianist who happens to play piano. So what we are brought up with educated with as an idea is that a work of art is given to us by a composer, a score it's called, in which there are the notes to play, there are the notes to phrase, there is a character, there is a spirit, there is tempo, there are lots of indications and plenty of information that composer gives us, to us. Now, we are also brought up with the idea of humility uh, in understanding that a talent of A. Wagner, A. Bach, a. Beethoven, A. Tchaikovsky is so infinitely greater than any of us can ever possess because they are the creators. So if you start from that point of view, you accept happily that you're at the service of those creators. That's a privilege. It's not a, it's, it's not, it's not a chore and it's not demeaning in any way. Uh, it brings a responsibility of hoping that you can bring to life faithfully what they imagined.